Middle path. Now look around the inside of the temple. Starting off in the main room, this is the stained glass, the head of the serpent, the rainbow serpent that goes around the clear story. And this is the rammed earth walls. They're 3.6 metres high. That's my beloved trancher reading in the lounge. Here's our wonderful Persian carpet that tells such a lovely story. Then looking out the front doors, which are wide open, and they're three metres high, those doors. That's the lake, beautiful water view all year long. The ice cream bean tree providing some wonderful green shade. Then back up to the ceiling. This is the reciprocal rafter ceiling, which is quite unique. And in the middle, the cupola, which is the opening with its stained glass rainbow spiral covering. Back down to the main room, looking around, we've got our sideboard, which is pretty big. It mightn't look so big, but when you get up close to it, it's a major work of art. And here it is. At one end, we've got all our uh, glasses and crockery and dinner party stuff. Uh, light, automatic light in the cupboard, so you can easily find things any time of day or night. In the middle there, there's a little booze cabinet that's uh, fairly sparse at the moment but then we've had a couple of major events uh, drawers for all manner of things they'll uh, specifically designed to hold dvds and cds if you want it and in this end we've got the retracting doors which uh, hide the tv but not that we use a TV much ourselves, we mainly use this, which is a projector screen. We have a digital projector for watching DVDs. Now in the kitchen, this is the kitchen. That's the main, we call it USS Enterprise cooking top with the massive extractor fan. And over there there's the sink, and that is Yousel the Cat. No, that's not Yousel the Cat, that's Trancher. Showing you the cupboards, the insets on the doors, the lights. Here's the, um, that's lake water tap, and we have also rainwater, which feeds both sinks. That's quite handy. The double drawer dishwasher, which is good for two people. It means that you can, uh, you can have one set of crockery and stuff washing while the other's rinsing. Here we've got the Lazy Susan with the light in the corner, which really makes the best use of that corner space, which can be an awkward storage area. That's the wall oven. It's got drawers underneath it, uh, magically enough. And moving on, we come to the discreet pantry, which holds quite a lot of stuff, just uh, one jar deep on the shelf, so that nothing can get hidden. It's got a light, and there's another one. It's got uh, jars in the door and on the shelves. Holds a lot of stuff. Mightn't look like a lot. And then there's the cooking area, which, as you can see, all the utensils are at hand, and you can grab their handles rather than the working end. You move around. There's uh, the bamix, which is so useful on the on the cooktop. You don't have to plug it in. It's just ready to go. Just grab it and mix. The uh, light, which uh, just highlights what you're eating, what you're working on with no shadows. The knives, knives are available everywhere. And uh, all those utensils hanging there. Again, that's rainwater and lake water, both available in that little sink. And the magic of that little sink is down the bottom, there's an insincorator, which you can't really hear there, but uh, that feeds the downness, chews up everything, makes sure we recover all our nutrients. And then down there, what you can't see, but now you can, are the drawers. Every kitchen should have them. Now we're in uh, Trancher's Clinic. This is where she does her naturopathic work and colonics. And just to give you an idea of the height of the room, that's going up and up and up, right up to the top. Those 3.6 metre walls. That's down at the floor again. The cupboard, she's got a beautiful view out the window. You probably won't be able to see it because it'll be too bright. And uh, there she is. What more could you expect to find in a clinic room? That's the clonic irrigation machine. There's water. We have a lot of water in the house. We're surrounded by water and we brought it right inside. Most rooms have access to rainwater and lake water. This is my office. I call it the flight deck. It's uh, mainly a computer software generating space. This is our bedroom, that's the view out the window. 
Now the bed, morning. the stained yeah, glass yeah. bed, head. That's what we call the closed fortress. Um, because if there's a nuclear attack, that thing is going to survive. That's a, probably the only thing that's going to survive, but it will definitely survive. And uh, my lady's dressing table with the Hollywood styling coming right round now. The little music shelf. The books. Here's the same view, but from a different angle. The bed again. This is more from the foot of the bed. Just to give you the same idea, but uh, from a different space. And that through there is obviously the bathroom. Here's the bathroom. That's the sink. This is a uh, modern German cast iron bath, toilet, stained glass door, and the twin shower heads with the monster in the middle, which is just so useful in the middle of summer for getting a rapid cool down on those uh, insanely hot days that we rarely get in Maloney, but we do occasionally get them, but you just get a waterfall out of that thing. 